another episode of Guy Party. My name is Michael Benjamin. Cuddly Cuteness. Jizz and Jackson. This is Chester. This is Brando. Party Man. Thank you everybody for tuning in again today. Uh, we got another great episode of Guy Party. I know it's a little bit close to Christmas and everything, but... Uh, by the time this drops, it'll be after Christmas. Uh, okay, it's, yeah. cr- it's, it's close to Christmas It is for really... Us. Well, I mean, we may have it borderline, like, kind of out there, but... We're I mean, celebrating it's it for you now. A few days away. Well, it, regardless, we'll s- still celebrate, you know. Well, if it drops after Christmas, I hope everybody had a great holiday, touched a lot of buttholes, um, drank... A lot of booze and followed all of our guy party commandments. And also got those, uh, speaking of buttholes, those butthole uh, chocolate candies that you uh, showed. That yeah. You better I, have seen I, it on booze heads. You better have seen it on our Facebook page. Yeah. I hope your loved one uh, was kind enough to make a chocolate mold out of their asshole and gift it to you <laughs> for the holidays. Because that's love. That is true love. Because if you're not willing to eat a nice chocolate you know, asshole. I wouldn't even chew it. I'd, I'd like just, I'd lick it until it <laughs> yeah, melted. Yeah, you gotta warm it up first. Yeah. yeah. Chomp into it. That's right. You don't, you don't buy a chocolate asshole in half. Speaking <laughs> of chocolate assholes, I was wearing mine when I went to go sit on Santa's lap the other day. So how do you wear a chocolate asshole? Where... Well, it fits in pretty good. <laughs> right on. So um, where did you see Santa Claus? At the mall. Ooh. Ooh. So, what would uh, describe this mall Santa? Because I, I have a little bit of a curiosity with mall Santas. Mm, I would say he was probably fifty-seven <laughs> and uh, really fat and very impotent. So your classic Santa. So, so like, you, were you disappointed that he didn't get a boner? Is that what I'm hearing? Wait. <laughs> yeah. Impotent yeah. meaning it was a man. So. Well, women can be impotent, can't they? Um, they can. But I can, guess they could. Sure. But can a woman be Santa Claus? I mean, that's why they made Mrs. Claus, right? I guess that's true. We have our roles to play. So I know that there's a thing out there right now that people are pushing for more female Santa Clauses. How do you guys feel about that? If, female if we, Santa Clauses? Yeah, maybe if we made like a, a lady Santa Claus that delivered all the presents and uh, and then had like a Mr. Claus that sat at home and like I don't know. Big <laughs> Wouldn't that be like reverse? <laughs> Wouldn't that, isn't, isn't that like reverse feminism though? Like we're already like I mean, what trying to make it sound like okay, yeah, go back to the fifties and they're like we'll make you give us everything on hand and foot again, like we always wanted. Can she handle all the packages? Oh. Is she gonna be strong? She enough? can handle some packages. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she doesn't have to actually, like, carry them herself. Like, she just commands all the elves. Like, she's just, like... That's what men do, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, like, she's a boss bitch. Like, she just, like, oh, tells okay. everybody what to do. I so think she would have all the same Santa. powers as Santa. Right. Like, as, as dude Santa. I mean, but don't she now sit at home in her chair? He's out there doing everything for her. Everybody's mm-hmm. not a lazy right, boy. Right, but that's what we're saying. Like, the role, if the roles were... Well, reversed. that's why Santa ain't a woman. It's capitalism. They're she's all sitting on lazy boys and <laughs> hanging out. We should probably go to the North Pole and abolish slavery. <laughs> <laughs> You're free! Finally. Be free, elves! <laughs> so, um, you, you were sad that he didn't get a boner, though. Yeah, I mean, I went there to sit on Santa's lap, and, you know, I was hoping for... He's an old daddy. Maybe some wood. Were you rubbing your ass around a little bit on him? Yeah, I was trying to get that North Pole up. Yeah. <laughs> Did he put well, you up in the air like probably... a little baby because he was tired of your antics and you were gross to him? Is that what was really Yeah, you're problem? probably too old. Like, he's there for the children. Like, that's what gets him. Like, he wants like, to... You should have waited old. until, like, a little boy had left. I mean, you are cuddly and <laughs> cute, but... You know, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, Santa yeah, likes you little are. boys. <laughs> you're right. I think Santa likes little boys, boys not yeah. grown men. You may like Santa, but he likes little boys. Because I mean, what, <laughs> why else would somebody really get that job? Because it, it doesn't pay well. Oh it's, my god! It's fucking short hours. It's like a seasonal job. And yeah, but the reason they've always made it that desolate job is because it wasn't the job you wanted, and people just did it. To make ends meet because the economy has never been good. So you think Are it's you a same check? And what do you think? Like I think it's just a paycheck. Right, like money. nobody that is a Santa like grew up dreaming they were going to be a mall Santa. So yeah. anyone who's a pedophile, it's this, not like this is in it for the money. Then. Choice. Even a pedophile. So doesn't you're want trying to tell be me that Santa. being yeah, a pedophile is not a choice? Is that what you're claiming right now? You're hang on, cuddly ass. Not all mall Santa. Hold on, no wait, wait. 
Like, Wait, sure, some of them probably are. It went from you are. guys saying that Santas are possibly, you know... Stop it. And the little boys, and then that they're pedophiles, and it's okay, no. because they're just... It's no. not a choice. No, 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 no. Maybe so, you didn't need imagine this. I am, ahead, am uh, looking over this application to apply to be a mall Santa Claus, and I uh, totally misinterpreted must-love children. <laughs> no! <laughs> See? Yeah. So you guys are saying that it's just... It's granted in the being Santa. You, you have to don't like have to be a pedophile to do it. Like pedophiles probably just see it as like <laughs> an opportunity. Wait, what if that's how they got the pedophiles though? They just hot. They oh my god. That's, Jeez, how, they that's how pedophiles are made. Is they no, start no, no, out no. as small. That's fantasies. how they arrested them. That's how they did stings to try to get pedophiles by saying, "Hey, here's these Santa jobs that come out of life." And then all these pedophiles come to go apply. And they're like, "Got you, fuckers." Yeah. So maybe it's one of those things that like it's it's such a like a specific role there that Chris Handsome. Like you're you're not all Santa. They're not getting paid well. They're not getting paid well, and and the person has to fit a specific profile. So maybe they just take whatever fucker they can get. Maybe they don't even check, like, backgrounds. Maybe they don't There's even no check if they're on the sex offender list. It doesn't no pay way. enough money to, like, to Who back check. Who, is there, I bet you the agencies that they don't give it. Most of these agencies that hire the Santas probably don't give a goddamn shit. As long as they're getting their money, they're probably paying... They're paying these Santas nothing, probably. There's no agency. There's yeah, no, like, is. hot headquarters for, like, <laughs> mall <laughs> Santas. <laughs> well, well, might, like, it's literally, like, the, like... <laughs> Sad no, managers like there's third at party, the mall. There's third party staff. It's like places. looking for somebody to like pretend to be Santa so that they can get some more revenue in because nobody goes to malls anymore. All right, like, so they're like, what hobo off the street or what drunk can I find at this bar no, to put on the a, Santa costume for three hours the movie. and let little kids sit on their lap? Like, jingle all the way. Where there was like this warehouse. The warehouse of Santa. Yeah. Santa's. That's right. <laughs> right about that. I want to come and across that. Jim Belushi's like, get out of here. Oh, the um, so <laughs> <laughs> No one talks about pedophilia and jingle all the way. I got a question, guys. <laughs> so why does every Santa song include the word balls? Well, Give bells, in, in this case, bells. Bells? bells. We know bells are ra- round balls, so basically jingle balls. Why do they have bells originated for this type of season, though? Like, like, I don't see, know. are you saying there's like lights in, and all in all your stuff? window? Yeah. Or the, in, what is Santa with a pedophile this whole time? For letting you know we're here. <laughs> <they're weird. laughs> oh my god, the elves are not elves, they are children. <laughs> yeah. The little because children. balls can't be a grown man's balls. They're kids. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's Christmas. They're kids. Yeah, jingle bells are smaller. <laughs> Do you think that the guy who plays Santa, <laughs> when Christmas is over, jumps into the Easter Bunny suit and becomes the Easter Bunny for him? Yeah, <laughs> like they just like go through the season. You think that's the same fucking dude? He's, he's, a, he's a tooth fairy. He's, yeah, he's I'm the pretty sure they're all my dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If I, had an I knew it was your dad. Especially since that, you know. The... See, my dad just hit me and told me none of them were real when I was like seven. Joey's what, dad was a good father. 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 Your dad had an imagination, I guess. <laughs> Your dad had an imagination. <laughs> 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 I like how he imagined how he could fix that problem. <laughs> <laughs> he thought outside the box by hitting the box. Jesus, that's crazy. I, I was the kid that like went to school in like second grade and like told all the other kids like Santa's not real. It's your parents. <laughs> yes. There's no such thing as the tooth fairy. Well, no wonder your dad is. While I was a kid, I was wearing Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Fucking in the fourth grade still, like the actual costume. Yeah, but when he was in the fourth grade, it was cute because that was his age. But you were still there, and you were like ten years older, still in fourth grade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, we'll, we'll cut that. <laughs> so Michael was talking about Power Rangers. Have y'all noticed that Power Rangers have gotten more feminine than female? When they started out, they looked gay. Wait, what? And now Wait, they what? Look what? Like female. <laughs> Backtrack. What did you say? What? Have you noticed that as we've gotten older, Power Rangers have gotten more manlier than they have, like, womanly? Okay. When they first started, they were very gay. Like, the colors were very gay. <laughs> Wait. And now they're manly. What was wrong with Power Rangers? Rangers? So you think like, the original Power Rangers? You can't be dissing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yeah, I feel like... <laughs> you cannot be dissing the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers right now. I am. How? I was they are the OG Power Rangers. I was about to judge for watching Power Rangers right now, but then I was like, ah, oh, but I was sitting on Santa. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You're trying to get Santa aroused. So, I lose. Yeah. Actually, I think not what 
a weekend or two ago, whatever, what Comic Con or whatever was here close to uh, Cincinnati was the uh, um, that dude. What was his name again? The one that did the Green Ranger. Which dude? Uh, you wouldn't no, know. I, I, don't remember his, like, <laughs> I don't remember the Power Rangers. I don't remember the Green Ranger. No, the Green Ranger. I didn't the say the Green Ranger. Yeah, he was yeah, up. Tommy, that's his name. In the, the he was up in yeah, he was up but, in Louisville. Which Jason David Frank. Yeah. Yeah, Jason David Frank. Yeah, he was up in Louisville. I didn't. I was there. I didn't stop to see him. I didn't care. Well, I didn't see him either, but I just heard he was there. Yeah. 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 He, well, he, he was the coolest one. You know. He, he got like his like Twitter feeds sent to you or what? Twitter feeds. Twitter feeds. Oh, Twitter feeds. I think I uh, have a better idea here of something this dream I had the other day that kind of scared the daylights out of me. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys have had these uh, these type of dreams before or whatever. But Was it somebody you, burning it garbage? Been in, the middle, in, it been in the middle of the day for all I know. Was it somebody burning precious garbage in front of you? Oh, God, no. That would have killed me, for instance. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You would have, that would have been like, that's, that's, that's like night terrors for you, right? Night terrors. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's life is far more like sleep paralysis. Anyway, so, okay, I was having this dream where I was, like, fucking someone. I definitely wouldn't have wanted to fuck, you know? I don't even know who they were. It was just a person that was ugly. Man uh, or woman? It was a woman, but, like, okay. it wasn't someone I was, like, I don't know. I'm sure it, was about, it, may, it may have been someone I'd seen on like a show or something recently. I don't know. Oh, probably. Like, just I don't, like, you know how you don't remember faces or whatever during after dreams. All I know is that who was, was it a, that who was mom ugly, from Honey Boo Boo? Who's an ugly <laughs> fuck? Oh my god! You can put it up there with her. <laughs> <laughs> but after all the surgery, she's a ten. Uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, probably not. But uh, anyway, but like it was a really ugly fuck, and you know, you know me and my high standards because I'm so good looking. I wouldn't ever imagine fucking. Something Someone that ugly, and I don't know. Like I would never, I, even when I'm looking at like porn and stuff, and I'm, you know, I don't ever look at, you know, porn that's, you know, with, but ugly people. But then I thought, is there ugly porn? Did you and wake I, up I, hard? <laughs> no, that's mm. the thing. Sometimes, do you ever get that with, with sex that's dreams? Where you wake up hard? No, I didn't actually. I, I remember. I remember. No, yeah, of course. I, I remember uh, uh, waking up in the middle, like it all happening and everything. And yeah. Like, I mean, just, like, not even having an actual uh, uh, wet dream or anything like that, you know. But what I'm saying, though, is that the whole, I, I started realizing, as, like, after the dream, like, I started, you know, looking up, like, thinking to myself, like, in porn, when I look up, you know, my porn, it's so, everyone's so good looking, you know. You never see anybody that's ugly, you know. You never, like search, for, you never search for amateur porn? But they're not that ugly, though. I mean, I guess I'm very picky with what I'm saying. I guess I'm saying those are like, I'm so picky that your... you ever just sit there. Like, I think I asked you this the other day, uh, or maybe it was vice versa, that how we'll sit there, or maybe I'm, I'll, I'll sit there and be like, like take so long to, to, pick, a video. to pick a video that I, that's satisfying yeah. enough to like, okay, this is it. This is the one. So when you, you know what I mean? Video. You know what I mean? That's I the know, one. I do. I, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, uh, nope, this is, nope, not this. Nope. Like you don't, you don't even like give it a chance. You're and like, I'll be nope, like, nope, nope, I'll, I'll still be like stroking my dick. Like as I'm running through these like shit videos, like a shitty videos. And then it's like, I'm, I'm going to find the perfect one to eject to. Like I got to find that perfect one. Right. Like to, to eject to when I get to that point. Cause I, I don't want to like. Be, like and it's like if you find one and you finally ejaculate, but it's not. It's not the greatest one. Yeah, like, you're like, kind here's of my question. You're like, disappointed. I have here's a my question. Yes. Disappointed. Here's yeah. my question. <laughs> yes, that is the point. But have you ever accidentally ejaculated on some fucking really ugly ass people that you're like, oh fuck, and you're like, oh, no, no, it's done. Oh, sure. It's done. And you're yeah. like, we've damn. all been on a I subway. Like, <laughs> 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 You're just running around like splooing. <laughs> just there's so much yeah, like, to like <laughs> almost to the yeah, point where it was like supposed to hurt because it was like a blue ball effect because you were like you realize what you had just done and your 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 dick basically cut itself off. Yeah, once you realize what you've done, it's all. Oh, I've definitely <laughs> been really fucking ashamed after like. Have you ever been to a website called time. X? Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> what X tube. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's pretty much all ugly people. <laughs> I mean, I've heard a lot of ones that have the letter X and tube in them, but not that. No, one. it's just X tube. It's like it's like U porn or that's red why tube. It's, my it's, favorite it's... is amateur. This one, I like him to be ugly. That one's amateur. I like him to fuck. be 
I'm not saying I don't want him to be, be ugly, you know, like, not like super. No, I don't like, like, I don't like a lot of the, yeah. too much makeup or whatever. I'm not saying that. I, I mean, or whatever. I, I want him to look like they're real normal people, but at the same time, I don't, need I don't want him to be like angles. really fucking ugly. So, Jesus Michael, Jesus just Christ. to clarify. I, I, I was a nightmare in what I was having in my jury or whatever. Well, nobody watch. ever wants to watch themselves fucking. Do you guys ever watch porn on Tumblr? Oh, yeah. Because I feel like. You That's heard, where you, you I heard? got the majority of my porn, and now that it's gone, I'm like... Yeah, you heard they're getting rid of it. Yeah, yeah. Someone, Someone was saying that like, the other day, and I didn't really realize, because I never used ridiculous. Tumblr like that, so I didn't, I, I didn't get it that big. I was so disappointed when I was... I'm so glad sad, that you yeah. brought that up, because when I read that article about the whole thing, I was like, oh, really? I didn't know they even fucking had porn, really. It's because, like, I guess Yahoo bought Tumblr, and they're very, like, PG, like, trying to, like, PC and, like, cater to the public. Who did? Yahoo. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so good luck. Remember Yahoo? Yahoo? Good luck with that, Yahoo. <laughs> Yahoo's <laughs> right. back. Well, Wait, that's why I'm, I'm like... Yahoo's back. The Tumblr, like, there's still, like, a, a company, a Tumblr, that, like, runs Tumblr, essentially, right? But why wouldn't they just let them and have they've, their... And like, they've done shit that they, like, everybody was outraged about before, and they were like, okay, we realized we fucked up. And I like, literally had never cool. heard of Tumblr until somebody said, hey, check out this porn site. Right, that's exactly how <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> like, the fact that they have anything other than porn is weird to me. Yeah, yeah no, it's just You'd like be stroking off, and the next thing you know, you see a art picture. Right? It's like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Sad times right now for Tumblr. Well, moment of silence for it, then? Well, it's just... I mean, <laughs> that, was, that was a moment. It was, was a quick, <laughs> quick jerking off second. It was one of those semen passing through the fucking urethra of fucking moments. That was a moment. That what counts. Yeah, go I on. think we should be able to see everyone who wants to show themselves naked. Yeah, but then it's also like, okay, so like every fifth grader has an iPhone right now. Oh, that's true. So like if a fifth grader gets on Tumblr and they see a bunch of naked people and they decide that they're going to... That's why I... Just stop right there. Y'all Parents right. can restrict whatever's on right. their, their that's cell phone. True. But they don't. But it's not like they don't. Like, you can, and a phone and now fall. is um, all like, Don't ruin the rest of the Let's be honest. Even parents. before we were 18 and allowed to put pictures of ourselves online, we were like... We were still accessing porn sites, so the age limit doesn't like really restrict Yeah, it. So, I mean, so, it's like, not, yeah, it's, just like the same thing with the people with the, the dirty movies and stuff. Right. We grew right. up exactly with like, ordering that stuff off a of cable or satellite or whatever. You know, we like, grew up with it, but the kids now us. have it. Like every phone. Has I mean, it. that's my I mean, argument. It's, it's, is that like color right. No one gives the kids they should not just use a phone that as an that argument call. because the kids are going to well, find sorry, it whether you block it on your side. Is it cheaper with the fucking phone? Birds and the bees. Yeah, you only I'm actually jealous of kids now because they have so much access to great porn. I would love to see a video of me jerking off. I'm actually child. jealous of kids right and now because they do get Santa hard. Wrong. Mm. And so <laughs> you're jealous about Sorry. Santa getting hard from kids and you want to see a video of you jerking off. Well, I, wait on me no, younger. I, yeah. I'm the opposite. I would say that I feel bad for kids that have so much access now because... To say porn dead? is so Why? no because porn is like you need to be most, able to see everything by the age of porn one, so you can be able to live so like, like fully. overproduced and like it's so unrealistic that like I just want they to get so I desensitized to like, like what the, regular uh, like sex and life okay. is like but that's especially though. at a young age like the first time you have sex it's not gonna be some crazy like, I had to watch hockey gang bang like, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like really awkward and weird like <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> and I think maybe we just have to find a middle ground because when I was jerking off when I was a kid, it was like I had to. I had but to you watch never thought you'd be saying that fucking sentence on a pad. <laughs> when you were a kid doing it, <laughs> right? When, when I was a kid jerking off, One day. it was um, it was uh, like Cinemax and and, sh- and, sh- and like late night Showtime and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. And it was before even they had like um, like the on demand stuff or like pay, like DVR or any of that shit. It, you would have to wait. You would have to find like the the TV guide and find out when your fucking like I remember sexy, doing that, man. Sexy I, I story. You would have to find out when real sex started yeah, yeah, and like exactly. time out for fucking sex. jerking off. Yeah, or like, <laughs> like striptease when Demi Moore actually you know does show her tits or whatever in there and there whatever other movie that you would have to find on there. It was crazy because it wasn't even like penetration. It was just like Boots. nudity, nudity. Yeah, yeah. It was just nudity. Look for that letter, and it was like, like that's enough. 
I'm going to jerk off. Or the I word found... being for brief nudity or being yeah. in, and then they they sometimes show tit in there too. I always got I, I always got pissed off when it said N or even B N like nudity or brief nudity, and it turned out to be like a, a, a like a dude's butt or like even like <laughs> like a full frontal like dong. And like you know, it was a lip it was dong. Terminator. It was lip dong. You just got to see Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and it's like I always felt like they should have changed that to specify if it was male nudity or female nudity, yeah. just so I know what to expect. Yeah. <laughs> but there's definitely I think there's. I mean, it's kind of like a gay rights thing, but I hate the like inequality. Like most nudity in ninety nine percent of movies is women. Oh well, yeah. You want you want to see more dong? Yeah, like I feel oppressed. Like that's all you that's want. That's not fair. Like it should be at least like you don't have to do it all the time because I I definitely think at least straight women too like they don't get excited about like dick pics and like seeing naked men. Like to them that's not sexually attractive. So I they get watch that, that like isn't a big like thing because. The majority you just want to the watch the new Arnold Schwarzenegger maybe because Jamie Lee Curtis does a dance. Did y'all know she started yeah. like Are you talking about True Lies? Yeah, I'm talking <laughs> about True Lies. I'm always talking about True Lies. The, there's the, the new one coming out? I hope not. You just said new. You just said new two lies. Dude. No, just true Thank lies. You for backing me up on that, Chester. I was like, you <laughs> I, was, I made it sound I was, like I was, true lies. I was, so I made it sound like I was normal, confused. And you it's, turned it on. I was, I was confused too. It's the same scene, but it's her eating Activia <laughs> <laughs> on the couch, and she All falls right, asleep. Naked. She wakes up like, "Oh, you guys still here? You're supposed to leave an hour ago." So since we're, we're kind of on the topic of. Uh, Tom Arnold. Junking off. Uh, junking off. Uh, jerking, <laughs> junking off. Uh, jerking off as youngsters. Um, who did you guys jerk off to when you were young? Like, what was your crush? What was your crush when you were young that you would look to? Betty White. Swear. Because she was sexy You're when she lying. was younger. Swear to God. Golden Girls? Yes. Betty White. Mm. I've always you had a thing for her, it. Dude. That or what Dolly. You? Dolly had the perfect tits, but Betty White, when she was younger, had the body. What the? I've jerked off to old pictures, it, like yeah. old pictures of Helen Mirren when she was younger. Because Helen Mirren was really fucking hot when, in like the 1960s. Just because he was so old, was Betty White old. and Dolly. We don't have to start a pattern of old. I, no, I, she wasn't <laughs> old. old. I'm just saying like, Helen Mirren is old now. <laughs> but yeah, no. I, I mean. Old. Uh-huh. Okay, but that's what you were jerking off to when you were younger. I swear to God, did you ever jerk I off? Was, okay, <laughs> so the first person I ever jerked off to, I found this porno that was my aunt in our closet, and it was some cop lady back when they did the whole role play kind of cop, and she had a bush. I was like, dig in the bush. You're kind of hot. I don't even know what dick is yet. Your boobs are nice, <laughs> so. That's that's my. That was your that was your uh, breakout. Are you Caleb, uh, Macaulay Culkin, and, and which Home Alone, or not Home Alone? My girl when he died from the bees. Wasn't that hot? That was pretty hot. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty hot. That was I, I, I was only like eight years old, but I felt a little uh, you know little child going on. All right, so Macaulay Culkin and my girl. Mm, what are you able to dig out of the dumpster? Uh, my girl. Jerk. How about um? What was? I don't want to go. That route. Let me choose someone else because that's typical. Macaulay Culkin and, and, and my girl is typical. No, the next one I was gonna say is typical. You, anybody? Well, like Pamela Lee or something. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna say her. Uh, was somebody else I was thinking. I'm trying to remember. Her I name. mean, that was that was our generation. There were some Baywatch, other Baywatch chicks that were hotter. Like fucking, what's her name? Um, yeah. uh, Yasmin. Yes, oh. Yasmin Lee. Mm. Ah, but there's another one though that I had more in mind, like growing up wise. Who was that one chick? Not Britney Spears, because yeah, she was amazing. But <laughs> when, she first, when she first came out, what do you mean? No, I'm just confused because amazing. you're you're going all over the place right now. Focus. I know. Focus. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking, we all I'm thinking, get the I'm thinking like celebrities. I'm thinking like celebrities during that oh. during those times. Okay, okay. I, okay. I, I, oh. the man may have jerked off to. I'm with you. There was a dancer behind Britney in that uh, <laughs> video. Justin Timberlake. No, he was cute. Uh, right? That was funny. But no. Uh, <laughs> Justin Timberlake's cool. Yeah, he does have a weird nose. But I used to <laughs> jerk off to the behind dancers of Britney Spears. So you weren't all about the celebrities. You're like, I appreciate the other people. 
Well, they were also shirtless boys <laughs> as I was a boy. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, he was a boy as attractive to Britney Spears as a girl. Like, <laughs> oh, we got it one. was the time. But, we, I, but we I, think growing it's, up. No I think it's nice that you were, like, you were looking at mainstream celebrities. You were looking at these kind of background actors. Please, right. if any of you guys remember, tell me. But you probably don't know who this is. Or if any of the booze heads out there know who the hell I'm talking about, please send us an email or something, tag, whatever, this chick. <laughs> Probably hate Because man. it's, a, hey, you're surprised me. Her name is Tia Carrera, I think? Oh, yes. from Wayne's World. Yeah, yeah, she was on that, yeah. She was my first wet dream. <gasps> nice. <laughs> she was on, uh... I was, uh, I was, I, I was banging Marriage her, Marriage. but identical twins of her. And I was I was on like twelve or thirteen. I don't even know if I knew what banging was. Her? Nice, dude. Nice yeah. Show. I mean, can you blame me for having a wet dream? Dream like that now. Fuck. Right. I, I don't even know how to get them. It so, was a pretty dope dream. Who's the guy from Saved by the Bell? What's his name? Uh, Zach oh, Morris. Yeah. Strange. Strange. Oh, strange. <laughs> no, Dustin <laughs> Diamond. We, we all fucking. We all I heard he's got like a ten inch dick. So. He probably does. I think it's bigger than that. Is it really? Yeah. Damn. That's how the dude in the in the theater was able to locate him so quickly with that flashlight. Cause he that was Jimmy Herman. He basically just stood there. Oh, uh, <laughs> wasn't he? I thought it was Dustin Diamond, too. He has a porno, but it's not like a theater. Wait, he has a porno? Yeah, Pee Wee Herman got caught Dustin in a Diamond. porno theater jerking it. I thought and it was yes, Dustin, Dustin Diamond, Diamond does have a porno. I don't know who that is, but that sounds like the most, like... Porno name I've ever heard. That's actually just his That's real name. You never heard it. Like, he, <laughs> he was Screech on uh, Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. Okay. And that was his real name. Wow, it's a very like porn star name. So he's either going to sue and us for talking about the dick. dick right now or give yeah. us props for it. He had a porno with two other girls, and the whole time he was like, I'll see AC Slater do this. Is that what he was doing? I never do watched this. it. Yeah. Telling these girls. With two girls. And his two, his 11. He's just like talking shit the whole time. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Really? Yeah. That would be And now he's in jail. About all the other guys that he was on the show. We need to find that clip. We need to find that clip. That's what Sam from Sam. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) I mean, I don't need to see him. He's a gorgeous man. him. I mean, we need the audio clip just to hear him talking shit. I want to hear him. That's probably the funniest shit ever here in Screech. Like, I mean, he wouldn't be Screech, obviously. But I mean, I think it would be a funny, like, you know, guy party little clip. Who? Of him saying popping shit like that. Why? It's <laughs> gonna kill me. Who was your crush, Joey? Yeah, your mom. Oh my god. Don't worry. Who? He said your mom. Wrong? I think he said your mom. Yeah, that, it doesn't make sense. But um, I will say that mine. I mean, I had, a, I had a few, you know, but like the first girl I jerked off to, I know. Was uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus from Seinfeld, like fucking Elaine from Seinfeld? You knew she was on SNL. She's been on SNL. Oh yeah, she was original. She was original. She was a cast yeah. member on SNL. Yeah, uh, back in like the Dennis Miller days. But uh, the good old days. <laughs> yeah, like her, like um, Denise Richards and Wild Things. Oh yeah, Denise Richards. Yeah, that yeah, was, that's that, a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, you may not have heard this chick. Her name is Mimi Rogers. Uh, yeah. She's Mimi. Mimi from uh, <laughs> Drew Carey show. <laughs> exactly. She had some really fucking yeah, right. awesome eye makeup, and I just I dug it. <laughs> Phoebe Gates. Oh, Phoebe Gates, yeah. From um, Fast Times, Fast Time, Fast Time yeah. Gremlins. Yeah. yeah, Big 80 star. Yeah, she's cute. Whatever happened to her? Oh, she's still out there. She looks good still, actually, for her age. I think it was always nice when... Uh, like in Fast Times, where just the guys were talking about jerking off. You know who's still looking for their age? <laughs> um, Steve Stam- J- 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 Stamos. Stamos. Yeah, Stamos. Stamos. Yeah. John Stamos. Yeah. John Stamos. Yeah. Thank you. I'm like, <laughs> uh, I know. I'm like, you got me going, Jason Stamos. What is it? I'm Stam- Jason, Jason Stam- Statham. Statham. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jason Stamos. Like the whole <laughs> combination of the two. <laughs> John. But yeah, no, um... Yeah, he's back. I'd fuck John Stamos. Why would Fuck yeah! I mean... Ew. Every he's, one of the Full really? House guys hate look, him. Hate hang him. on. This is, okay. this is one of the okay. gays okay. saying okay. that he hates John Stamos. I gotta, I gotta hear this. That it's, guy's beautiful. Okay, maybe he is, but I think it's just from Full House that made me hate him. Like, Was it the mullet? It's every... His character in Full House I hate. 
his look in Full House. I hate everything about him from Full House. Like just. But- he Maybe played with the Beach Boys. But what yeah. he, <laughs> he was like, the greatest What about his look from Full House? That mullet was sexy as fuck. I don't even know. Like, I just know from like when I was a kid when I first started watching Full House from the minute I saw him, like I hated him. Like, and I've never been able to get over that. That's why you thought Joey was attractive. Oh, did you go? Ew! No, no. Oh, wait a minute, Bob Saget. Bob Saget? <laughs> no, he's attractive. thinking of the other one. That's even worse. <laughs> oh. Joey was like the tall dude no, with the big no. nose. Joey was the one that did the little puppet. Yeah, thing. he was, oh, like, he was Joe, the goofy guy. He was guy. like the goofy, guy. Goofy, goofy guy. Okay, okay. Out of yeah, out of the three you of them, he was attractive. Out of the three of them, he was definitely the best. Dave, what? Dave, 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 John Stamos. Yeah. When John Stamos is in the mix of almost anything, John Stamos comes out. If I couldn't have John Stamos, I'd go with uh, Saget. Do you know what I hate? We the just most? disagree then because no. This is what I hate the most about <laughs> all these. Shows. Those faggots were in their thirties. I'm in my thirties, and I'm like, I do not look as bad as Joey Gladstone, <laughs> Danny Tanner. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't I look eat. better they than didn't. that. You win. Jesse's okay. They're in their forties. We're there now, and they look old. Have y'all noticed that Mary Kate and Ashley, like, they both look like they've been on some shit too. I honestly feel like <laughs> so it's so disappearing and never coming back. Shit, like I, I, traveling. I have a weird thing with them traveling. that, like, like I could never see them as hot because I just always identify them with their character in Full House, and so I'm identifying them with the little girl. But the funny, the weird thing is that their younger sister, Elizabeth Olsen, who is um, the Scarlet Witch in mm-hmm. the Avengers movies, she is f- fine, and I've jerked <laughs> off to her before. But she's younger. How could you it ever jerk off my Mary fucking mind? Wait, who? Yeah. Scarlet Witch is an Olsen? Yeah. yeah. She's the younger sister of the Olsen yeah. twins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That no. just blew my fucking mind. What? No yeah, you know that? Who? who? Elizabeth Olsen, the, the chick that plays the Scarlet Witch in the Avengers, she's her younger sister. Wow. Scarlet Witch <laughs> is, is, is Elizabeth Olsen, the younger sister of the Olsen of Mary twins. Olsen twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Avengers. Wasn't that yeah. Scarlett Johansson? That just blew my mind. No! no. no. That's Black Widow. <laughs> Wait, get out of here. Which is the, is the sister of... Uh, the, Mary Kate oh, and Ashley. Yeah. Mary Kate and Ashley, yeah. I mean, I mean in the major, is, is the sister, the, the character um, itself, I mean. You're talking about the Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch. the character. She is the sister of... Mary Kate and Ashley. Quicksilver. No! Oh. Oh. Yeah, she's the sister of Quicksilver, Quicksilver. Yes, yes. yes. Magneto's kids. Huh. They're both Magneto's children. Yeah, they don't... Talk about that in the Avengers because they can't. Yeah, because they can't. Wait, I don't remember <laughs> seeing her. I don't remember seeing her. Where was she? I don't remember seeing her then. What? Did I see? Did I not see her? What did you? No, you, you, you literally really watched Infinity War with me. Yeah, she's been in like the past five Avengers. She, Avengers. she, on, she, on, she on, was on, the one that was with Vision. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, that's okay. Wait, she, oh, okay, that makes sense. I was trying to get the face. <laughs> okay. So on that note, we're going to do a nice time travel of ourselves and be right back, uh, booze heads. All right. All right, we're back, uh, booze heads, and um, I know that you all should have uh, already noticed that one of our great uh, guy party members is not here, beautiful Brad. Um, he will be back with us here soon, um, but... Uh, or will he? Um, or will I he? Mean, it, that it, is true. It, it, is it possible that we may have to sacrifice him? Because you never know. I when... didn't think we had to do that yet for him. Is he ready for that? So, I, I like to think frequently about a situation where, like, the party gods ascend or descend from their thrones to talk to us, and they demand a sacrifice, promising us nothing but fantastic guy parties for the rest of eternity. But one of us has to go into purgatory, a no-party purgatory. So how do we decide, and how do we sacrifice? Okay, I guess you do make a good point. I mean, he he has uh, had some symptoms of when the gods were pulling at him. Um, I mean, I have felt it myself, but from my stance, like, they would be coming, like, from, they would be ascending, not descending, you know, because of being me. But uh, it's something that I think that we have to think about very clearly. And, you know, if he's not fully going at the, the commandments and achieving them like we all are here, and you all better be, as you all booze heads should be, 
or, you know, you will get sacrificed, or at least tortured, and then possibly sacrificed, I think, in the best way possible. I like a good guillotine at the final finish, but then in the middle, I gotta get more creative right now, so I need some more input from you guys about, you know, what, what would you help me do the in-between if you didn't have to do a guillotine type style. So, so just, just to clarify, I'm bringing a hypothetical to the table that the party guards are gonna come to us and demand a sacrifice. So you are already on we're past the point where we're choosing who is getting sacrificed. Of the core four, uh, of the core four, you are or you are choosing Brad because he is not here today to defend himself. I am saying that he he has made some you know mistakes and things have happened. Yes, I'm not the command law, so I don't judge him to be you know. But if we have to, then we have to for the sake of the party gods. So guillotine, I would say, would be the easiest fashion for him. But then again, like I said, I'm, I'm open to input from you guys and want to know, or you gals. I'm um, leaning towards uh, Beautiful because I feel like he's not here to defend himself, one. And the, the the choosing could be yeah. more of like a, pre, a genetic predisposition. So maybe we do like a beard growing contest and, you know, whoever can't grow a beard is the one we have to sacrifice. One, yeah. of, one of these things is not like the other. And in that case, three of us have full beards. One of us does not. And you know what I think? Fart noise. That's that's a really good point, party man. Party man. So he's concussion man now. Yeah, I think he may have just concussed himself, but you know, whatever. <coughs> Whoa! The gods just took another one. <laughs> party. Um. So. If they're appeased with the sacrifice that party of of party man, then maybe maybe maybe, uh, beautiful's off the hook. Beautiful Brad is off the hook. But bring, bring back but, Brad. But but of course, but of course, there's still the necessity of you know having to punish people. So 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 how? See here here's what I think. I, I think that we got to do guy party. We gotta do our guy, each other well. So if we're we're chose if we are tasked with sacrificing one of ourselves by the party gods, I say we don't sacrifice him in a violent or or negative way. Party fashion. Party fashion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we have yeah. him I like get it have him like smothered by hooker pussy or yeah. something. <laughs> While well, honey. Exactly. Like, uh, like, like just overdose on coke and shit. Just, just a myriad of drugs. All kinds of different drugs. And hookers. Yeah. And heroin. <coughs> and heroin. Oh, he would do the most opium pierced of all pussies. That's true. It could be like a drug. <laughs> it could just be like a guy party mm-hmm. drug challenge where the core four like just do as many drugs as we can until one of us dies. That's enlightenment. Or all. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> or all of us die. We're all a part like super bummed because we're purgatory and can't party as hard as we want to. <laughs> <laughs> baloney man though. Keeps it real. That's baloney, baloney man for you. That's true. Baloney man would bring baloney man would bring you back. And descendants of every drug you can ever imagine. But it's not even the drugs too. It's the reality of the no drugs all together. I, I believe that Baloney Man could bring. How would Baloney back. Man choose? How would Baloney Man choose which one of us he wanted to? I think Baloney Man wouldn't have to choose because he would know. He would know just, he just in, in all of his wisdom who, who was who was the most lacking in Baloney. I don't think it's the most full Baloney. I think it's lacking. He, baloney men wants people who are full baloney. Isn't the baloney supposed to have the biggest and widest, like, smile? The biggest, what they call, like, whatever, in other countries and other worlds, the chi or energy or whatever, you know? You're, I'm making you more confident about yeah. yourself. Yeah. I'm making you more he, confident he, about you. Baloney men is still to, like, as far as, far as deities. As far as deities go, baloney men is tilted the most, I would say, to the positive. Michael, I think that you're a little off. I think that you're used to like dumpster baloney, and we're talking about like baloney man. It's whatever is. I'm your, talking about your, baloney your, your energy, though. You know what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The baloney man is whatever it is that is you that helps you be more confident to you, you, whatever, whoever. When you have that confidence to to take a no and turn it into a yes, so. 
when she says no and you turn it into a yes, that's you baloney, get man. Success. <laughs> and, and the same thing with vice versa. If she gets a guy, turn it in from a fry, and then you get to die. He may die if it's bitches be crazy, but yeah, I mean. All right. And also, same thing with dudes and chicks. If a chick gets a chick and a dude gets a dude, they can turn no's and yeses and still get success. Baloney Man is, is definitely telling me to sacrifice Michael Benjamin right now. Um, he's had I think that I think he's calling me. I can hear him actually. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's kind you, of weirdly vivid. In my I think own. you need to transcend right now, and I can help you with that. Yeah. Allow me. I'll open up the gates to hell for you, Michael. It's obviously so hard. Um, Opens window. What you think is hell, I know to be paradise. Oh yeah, there is a dumpster down there. You're right. <laughs> That's true. There is a dumpster right out that window. Go, go to it. Go to it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All the half-eaten bologna you can eat. Now it's whole-eaten bologna. It's not half-eaten anymore. Actually, it was Joel eaten. Joel had eaten it. That's true. That's true. So, is is there a point where you just eat so much bologna that you become bologna man, or is, is it like your he he? Uh, if you were a certain percentage bologna, can he enter your soul? You become bologna man in your stomach. And he just like jumps out of you, and then like you a, still live. Like alien? It's like a, yeah, sort of. But it's like you're you somehow have a uterus somehow. I don't know. <laughs> like the Kool Aid Man jumping out of a uterus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why oh, the Kool Aid yeah. Man? How did you know I was thinking Kool Aid Man too? Though he looks like a weird little dude like that. I don't know. Like if it wasn't Kool Aid Man, I was like I don't know where he's going. With but he's this. a baloney man, not like Kool Aid Man. But it's baloney man. Oh you yeah. Know. Coming out, not oh yeah, more like argh, like Chucky style, like you know, about to tear some shit up with some confidence. So confidence with his knife. So take him now. <laughs> so so on sacrifices. Once we've decided yeah, who it. is being sacrificed, I say we we send them out party wise. Party party party. But you Pussy, eventually, but you eventually drugs, gotta stab through. in your face, whatever you prefer. But you eventually gotta stab through when they die. You gotta stab through their stomach and get the money man out in case he dies. You don't want to let him die in there. So we talking about a combo here, like a sweet like kind of party to, to celebrate the, the sacrifice. Yep. And, and then and, then the celebration. And then a the ritual. Rise. And then a ritual where you do carve out. Stomach and free the bologna man. Yeah, like look at my stomach right now. You see how big of a ball like there is? That's probably big enough to fit a twenty I pound do turkey want, in there. I do kind of want your, turkey. I want to cut your stomach open. I know, right? Don't, right? Don't, you don't and, and just pull stomach. out all the bologna. I know. You I'll just, get the carving knife. Yeah. All right. Well, it's. Uh, I mean, it. It really. No, never, we don't even. Let's get the potato peeler. Ooh. Like, let's take a time. Say, like, get that, and then make sure you like. I would take the ribs off right here, and you get right in there. Like, take off the right over where the ribs start, and then like. Well, maybe we just crush them first, but so that they're not Dude, so hard to. Remove. I've always wanted to crush my ribs with a fucking sledgehammer. Have you guys? No, but Baloney Man wants you to. Yeah, that's true. Is that true. what Baloney Man's trying to I tell th- me to do? I think you're volunteering at this point. To... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what Baloney Man really wants anymore. I think that's what it. What it, what she's telling me? Baloney man, I, I hear something. I I hear a higher power. Huh? It's telling me to retrie- uh, retrieve the, the bo- retrieve the meats from Michael Benjamin's stomach. Uh, it looks like more like a corn dog. My God, I I I, I can't believe the things I'm finding in his stomach right now. Michael wasn't as full of bologna as we thought. No, that is bologna. It's just like six month old bologna. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so it so it, it looks like car keys. But if it's in here, he had to eat it today, even if it was six months old bologna. No, Michael Benjamin's system is 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 fucked. So it just <laughs> it, it holds bologna, kind of <laughs> like how like you, you don't digest bubble gum for seven years. Here I am. So, like, his water's not gonna break. I am bloody man. Bologna. His bologna broke? Who are you? I am bloody man. Ah. My god, something's emerged from ah. this. Oh. Ah. From his asshole. Ah. <laughs> it looks kind of like Roseanne Barr. Who are you? God party. 
I have had this guy party too many times. You don't know what the baloney men talk about. What is your opinion, baloney man? With this being, this Michael Benjamin, he needs to die. Could not agree more. <laughs> Could not agree more. How, how, what do you have in mind? There's a garbage can. <laughs> yes, strange creature. Tell us. Outside. Outside, you say? You need savor me. I mean, sever, sever me from his body. So you can take his body and do the trash can and keep me as your leader and supreme god. But it looks like you're attached to his intestines. Yes, you must be very delicate. Or I will die too, goddammit. So while he's fucking whatever he's doing, dead, passed out right now, you need to get me unhooked from the goddamn whatever thing you call intestines. I am just baloney, man. Oh, you do oh, what you need to do oh, to oh, save oh, me. I just cut too much, I think. That's it. Save me. Save me. Oh. Yeah. Someone get this off my shoe. So, like, baloney yes. man sounds like an old Jew. Can we talk about that? <laughs> uh, baloney man definitely is Jewish. That's super old. Did, did, did Baloney Man endure the Holocaust? Because I kind of feel like that might be a thing. The Holocaust of Weenie. Yeah, yeah, like, just like the Kaka cost. No, it's like Oscar Mayer cost. Village. Uh, oh, so just burning a bunch of small hot dogs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> that would be that would what? be kind of tragic what? for Baloney Man to, to endure that. What the hell? To, to see all that other kind of meats being burned. What, 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 what do you guys, what? Oh, what, what are you guys talking about? Michael? What are you guys talking about? Uh, are you what fucking are you alive? Talk, what are you guys talking, talking about? Fucking resurrected. What the fuck are you guys, what are you guys talking about? Ah, uh, god damn it. Did what, he end up winning? Why do I feel like... Again? The fuck is... <laughs> no, I What's think he somehow on? survived it. What do you guys do to me? What do you guys fucking do to me, man? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting a little tired of you guys' pranks. I want to know what you guys did to me this time, okay? I'm tired of this shit. What did you do to me this time? We didn't kill it, you. It's, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's I not even what we did. I feel, did like I'm, I feel like I'm okay, I guess. But I mean, what, what, what the fuck? What, what happened? Let's Why do I not remember Bologna the past five minutes of my life? Mysterious ways. Baloney man works in mysterious ways, really. Do you believe in God now? Baloney man. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe I in the Jewish God. We all believe in baloney man, of course. <laughs> that was very obvious. What is it to do with baloney man? We'll uh, tell you when you're older. I hate everyone that fucking say that kind of shit. Fuck you guys. And when whatever. you're an older Jew. Whatever. <laughs> what are you guys talking about there right now? What are Michael, the I'm After just... your bar mitzvah, we'll let you know. I, I'm just happy that you're okay. You're I, happy for me, thanks. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. I'm super excited that you're not dead and that you're still with us. So. I appreciate that. Well, yeah. You know what this means is Baloney Man could resurrect Brad for us maybe soon. What are you talking about? Baloney Man resurrecting Brad? Well, he brought you back, didn't he? And I'm sure Brad's fine. <laughs> we even brought me back. Wait, what? If I oh, was Brad. going to summon what? Brad right now, like, you know, from the other world that he's in, and we're to ask him, well, who, him. who should Baloney Man pick of us to sacrifice? You know, I wonder what Brad would say. You know, God rest well, life for a life. I'm sure game. Brad's fine. Okay, so, but I think we're talking about sacrificing one of us. So... Well, the question is, um, I, I feel like we kind of just went through that, but who is who who is being sacrificed? Well, Brad died, and then we tried to kill Michael. Okay, so we've already offered up enough sacrifices, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm just sacrificed happy. What, what do you mean? So you're saying <laughs> that Baloney Man is trying to... <clears throat> I'm confused. Baloney Man wants people to party with him. Okay. And to party with Baloney Man, you have to sacrifice. Have to. I mean, I thought I knew so much already, but I guess I'm. Um, I guess <coughs> there's things I didn't know. Well, there's the Book of Baloney. Have you read the Book of Baloney? I did. I did. I've I've been a fucking professor in that bitch, like the people and the teaching others, and thought I knew everything and I know. The Book of Cons. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the ins and out, even all the way to the S. I mean, if you read the book, then you would know about the sacrifices, and you would know what what, what, what we need to. But then to why, are we, why are we not saying we don't need a sacrifice anymore? Then I don't understand. Why are you guys saying we're done or whatever? We sacrificed. Who? Brad? Is he okay? We sacrificed him. Sure. 
Well, I mean, I thought we didn't make a decision yet, though. Michael, how would you feel if we told you that you died, you were possessed, your, your corpse was possessed by Baloney Man, and then he left you because he didn't feel you were sufficient? You, were, you didn't feel you were a sufficient host. How, how would you feel about that? Um, well, I don't actually... Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Cuddly Cuteness, and we are all alive with the exception of Brad. Um, Brad will probably be alive again someday if we pray to the baloney gods. Of... Baloney man will resurrect him. He can survive like I did, I believe. What's on the other side, Michael? You don't want to know. Mm. I'll tell you about this. A... I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> Imagine it's a paradise, and I'd like a paradise. A world where we were free of laws. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe we need the laws. I, I mean, I guess we need the laws, but like, should there be like some of. Are, are certain laws not necessary? I don't know what do you guys think. Like, like, so, like, I, I know that recently. <clears throat> Like they in Ohio, which is where close to where we are here, Ohio, Kentucky area, uh, they passed a law that you have to be at least twenty one to buy cigarettes and tobacco products. Yeah. I feel like at the same time we're pushing towards like legal weed and shit. It's like we're we're like we're pulling back on shit like tobacco well, and nicotine. That's why Ohio did it really. I think is because they just legalized <laughs> medical marijuana and all that. So they're gonna force. They're trying to. They're doing their everything they can to make it look like younger, you know, like teenagers or whatever, aren't trying to smoke weed or trying to smoke cigarettes too. So what's what's the age? What's what's the age that somebody should be able to like smoke cigarettes, <clears throat> buy beer, buy mm-hmm. buy weed, like you know? Think of it in terms of when you wanted to have fun. You wanted to have fun when you were really young, and that's the best time to be having fun. <laughs> Which age is that? What? Eight, twelve, thirteen. What do you mean when you're having fun? Like no. when you're five, we're like, all no, having fun. No, you wouldn't want your kid to play with your, you know, roaches. But Obviously, like, yeah. I, I think what you're saying is that there really shouldn't be an age. Like somebody should be able to go into like a weed store and be like, and and the guy just be like, are you having fun? And, and if the person says yes, then that's good enough. Well, they're over. In, well, think about alcohol. Like over in Europe, you know, like how. There's not the same amount of alcoholism here as there is in Europe, and they started drinking much earlier than we do. So what do you guys feel like? Like, Cuddly, I feel like yours is, if you're having fun. What, what, what do you guys feel like an age, what is an age requirement for things like booze and cigarettes? Thirteen. Thirteen, says Jizzly Jameson. <laughs> Jizzy Jackson. Jizzy Jackson. <laughs> Um, I just got that that's like a knockoff of Jesse Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if I want to go so down to 13. I mean, I was thinking at least maybe 16, like, or 15 or 16 or so. I mean, if we're talking about, like, everything, though, everything included, right? So which, so that's another question. Like, okay, we're talking, I mean, obviously there's a big push right now to, put, to legalize weed, right? Yeah. Right. Like, for, in some states, it's, it's just now getting to medical in other states, it's getting recreational, and I don't know what what what's next. Can we? What other drugs can we get legalized? What? Well, come on, come on, fucking booze heads. What what drugs can Guy Party get legalized? Yeah, and bombing fluid. And bombing fluid. Basalts. I, I think those are legal, actually. It, it, I think it's just a mixture of shit that's legal, right? Yeah, yeah. Which is insane because people fucking fry their brains. <laughs> the fucking would... dude that was like thinking he was like my uh, one <laughs> dude. <laughs> Not the fucking. Remember when all people were ruckus and around, around the whole zombie and shit because those people were doing bath salts and saying that because they fucking keep them up for hours on end and they fucking were eating people and shit. Remember and they were naked too. You remember that shit back in Miami? It was years ago, like eight years ago. People were eating people's faces? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. every day. Yeah. Can't and this was them. real shit that was going on the bridge that did in broad daylight in fucking <laughs> Tampa. Like, dude got arrested, like, and he's like naked, and he's still trying to fucking fend off the cops to fucking bite dude's face off because he was on bath salts. I don't know about the harder shit, like, you know, like heroin and meth and all that good fun stuff, but like stuff you can just have fun with, like mushrooms or LSD. I 
Well, they let's do fucking have, make that shit legal. They do have opium bars over there. I think, what is it, Norway or something? Or Sweden? or one Well, of we'll rock on country. Norway or Sweden or whatever fucking country you're thinking of. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh... I know what I'm saying, though. Like, if they can be the manager somehow. We can be the manager. Like, and people not get addicted and kill themselves. Like, and, you know, danger their children like they do. Yeah, I, I would say if, if a drug only fucked up you... Like, if, if something only fucked up you, like, to the point where you didn't hurt other people, then, yeah, I mean, it's your body. If you want to fuck it up, fuck it up. But, yeah, I get that with heroin and shit like that, you might go crazy and pull your penis out in front of a bunch of children. Or become a mall Santa. <laughs> you know, or whatever. Their penis does not work. That, that Yeah, we, we, we have tested that. Well, Cuddly has tested that, and... If Cuddly sits on your lap and your penis doesn't move a little bit, then your penis doesn't work. See, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like it's one of those things where if it's not hurting somebody else, then why is it illegal? You should be able to fuck up your own body. Yeah, I feel like yeah, yeah. I, I feel yeah, like I it's your fucking body. It's yeah, the one it's your that, body. But it's the one I'm thing saying, that it's one thing that you unequivocally have that's yours. As long as you're not putting anybody else in danger. Exactly. So why can't you fuck on a subway? You're not putting no one else in danger. But you're you're offending other people. Someone could have AIDS. But you would offend someone by doing drugs. Mm, that's not the same thing, though. If they you're doing the drugs, okay. Them. If you're doing the drugs in front of them, that's the it's if it's a public space versus a private space. That's. The but key. if they legalize it, then it's legalized. But not everywhere. in the public. So, though. no, it's not not in the public. No? Not in the public. No, just like. So I, mean, I don't I know, walk around smoking I know you're thinking, a big I know, in the middle of the street. They're gonna still restrict it because it is a drug. Like like cigarettes. Is, I get what you're saying, but. Even in even places like California and Colorado, they're not going to allow you to do it in, like out in, in your children. And stuff <laughs> so like why that. not do bath salts in like a prison cell? Like w- no one's going to get hurt but you. You're yeah, already yeah. in prison. Like if yeah. you go to solitary confinement, like it's like a little <laughs> bath salts. It's going to be the worst experience ever. Yeah, but... that's probably true. Actually, actually, if you really want to torture somebody, yeah, put them into a solitary confinement with no fucking lights and just empty walls, and give them the craziest fucking hallucinogenic drugs you can possibly give them. If I ever have to be sacrificed to Baloney Man, that's how it went out. That's how you want to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, closet and meth. Closet and meth. <laughs> yeah. You want, to go, you want to go back into the closet with methamphetamines. And I we s- can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see where you're going, though, with that, because you make... Actually, now I thought about that. It does make some sense, because, like, the making it completely public, like, say, with alcohol, or even, like, the opium bars I was talking about, like, smoking in public, at least, like, like, a cafe or something like that. But you can't do, like, alcoholic here legally, like, out, like, you know what I mean? Like, out on the sidewalk, you know? Like, I mean, same you thing. you can't, like, go out there certain, they let you drink outside. Yeah, certain areas will do it. Like, well, New Orleans, that's that's New Orleans their, you that's can just patio, carry a beer yeah. down Bourbon that's Street. That's the area. Nice. I mean, that's, the, like, those particular areas, like I said, though, it's not, like, anywhere. You can't just walk anywhere. Like, you can light up a cigarette anywhere, right? Well, and you know, that's even being, uh, I see... This is a lot more complicated than I thought. Thank Michael, you, I feel Chester. like your new place is kind of like its own independent country because I pretty much do whatever <laughs> the fuck I want here. Like, you know, if I want to light up a cigarette right here, I will. If I wanted to pee in that corner, I already did. So, like, I feel like I'm, it's just like, you know, it's like Michael Toria. It's like it's the elves community. take care of that shit. You know, the ones <laughs> you brought home from Santa. <laughs> Those kids that he had The ones them. you actually liked? Michael's apartment is freedom. It is. It's freedom from... From laws, it's freedom from common mor- sense well, or let's, morality. Let's, let's not say completely lawless. Let's not make it seem like we're doing you know murderous things. Well, here. why do you it's, always it, have a new dog every time you come over? We're what's doing, going on we're with not that? Doing, we're not doing min- min- what's the fucking word? Uh, Kitten mittens. Not murder, not murder. It's but a uh, uh, diabolical or anything like that. So yeah, like that. where are all these dogs going? What, what are you seeing dogs or something? Are you seeing ghosts or something? Oh, I'm sorry. Know. It was Michael's bathroom with the bath salts locked in. Dogs. Never mind. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. you're just seeing shit. Jizzler, have you let him hit the, the bottle a little too much with the acid or what? No. And uh, I, did like that, I don't think that was his name, but I actually do like the, <laughs> I do like the Jizzler. Oh, really? I um, really thought it was like Jizzler or something. Like that. <laughs> no, that was a skit that we talked about at one oh, point. Oh, yeah, the Jizzler. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking it. He's going to be the Jizzler, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jacob, Jacob is our Jizzler. I mean, you know, we did have, like, and we did need a replacement, so, I mean, you can definitely fill the shoes. 
Yeah, uh, Booze Heads, keep an eye out for for the uh, adventures of the Jizzler. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And more skits that we're going to be having Coming here soon. Coming soon to an adult theater near you. <laughs> <laughs> and more from, I mean... Uh, I guess I can't. I don't know if we've named the characters exactly. I've said it out to everyone, the boots said so uh, on the previous trailer that you should have seen by now. Plenty of piss. If you haven't, come on, guys or and gals, get on it. Uh, but those characters in there, be also ready for that. That also is coming at some point. Too. That is very. It's, it's, it's coming it's right all around, over you. It's right around the corner, and like you said, coming all over you. Coming all over you. So with uh, that being said, we hope you all have a great uh, holiday, um, and we'll see you no, in the no, new no. year. Had a great holiday because oh, this yeah. is dropping after this whole Christmas. This time-telling thing is hard. I'm sorry. I, I hope gotta, you got to kill the other Michaels. Well, I, I hope you got vision. great gifts. I hope I hope you got butt plugs <laughs> and and anything butthole related. So merry butthole holiday. Happy hucha. Vonica, Vaginica. Guys, party! party.